Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today, I'm going to share with you a little yarn haul that I ordered <laughs> and uh, just a, a disclaimer. This is a no yarn diet zone. <laughs> I do not believe in yarn diets. I believe you can order yarn whenever you want um, as long as you use it eventually. So this is a no yarn diet zone. <laughs> no yarn negativity. This button is a really cute button. It's a pin, button, pin. From Crochet Luna. And I will link that, uh, her shop below. I don't know if she still carries this particular button. But, um, it's cute. But anyways, I'm going to pin it on myself. Because this is a no yarn diet zone. Trying to poke myself. There we go. Yarn diets are not allowed here. It's crooked, but that's okay. Anyways, this is a, technically a knit crate, um, haul. <laughs> I forgot what it's called. But it's from their partner sister site called Yarn Rush which they are actually re in the process of revamping right now uh, because it, I guess it didn't go over as well as I thought it would. So uh, me being an, an ambassador for them, I had earned a free year's worth of their membership. So since they're redoing their stuff, um, you know, they had to void that out. So they gifted me a gift card to spend in their shop uh, the value of the membership. So I spent it. <laughs> actually, I paid a little bit more. They gave me a $65 gift card I got a bunch of yarn. Some of it was out of stock, so they refunded me for the, the out-of-stock yarn and for the shipping. So I ended up not really paying anything for it. <laughs> so, um, yeah, but it's a nice little box full of super bulky yarn. Um, I hope that they, in the future, have more yarns to choose from. Because when I was looking around, they had, like, they had some super bulky and they had some cotton and a couple of random little things, but nothing much else. Um, so, hopefully, when they revamp, it'll be better. <laughs> but I'm going to show you what I got. And, uh, yeah, I got this with the intention of making hats and maybe cow sets for donation. And, uh, yeah, so here it goes. I got, I think I got two balls of just about everything, except a couple of them only have one because they were out of stock. So this is Lion Brand Hometown USA. This color is called Hallelulu Pink. So I got two of them. Super bright pink. <laughs> and for the stats, it says number six, super bulky. 100% uh, acrylic and 81 yards each. I don't know if I can get a hat and cowl out of this. I'm sure I can. I don't know. <laughs> but um, uh, I, that's the reason I got super bulky is to make hats and cowls with to donate. And I got two of these ones. This is also, I think it's all hometown. So this one is called Aspen Tweed. This is really pretty. Does it have the same? It only has 64 yards. And, but it, uh, the rest of the stats, wait, wait, wait. it is 94% acrylic and 6% rural rayon, rayon. Then I got these really bright orange ones. <laughs> this one is called Cycrus Orange. <laughs> really bright, like, don't get shot by a gun in the woods, orange. <laughs> right. It's the 81, yeah, it's 81 yards each. And here's another tweed. So it's 64, and it is called Riverdale Tweed. I like this color, it's really pretty. And then I got this one. This is called Palm Springs. I don't know if you can see it well, but it's like a gray purple color with pink. And it is 64 yards each. It's considered a tweed, I think it just said that. I saw that somewhere. I mean, no, it's not actually. All right, then I got two of these ones. These are the 81 yards, and these are called Dallas Gray. And two of this really pretty purple. Pompeii Orchid. Really pretty bright purple. And then these three, I only got one of each. But I actually think I have one of these somewhere. Yeah, right there, I think. So this is a Providence Pink. And I think I have one right there. <laughs> Looks the same. <laughs> uh, this is a really pretty, like, teal color. It's called Montpiler, Montpiler Peacock. <laughs> I don't know how to say that. It's a really pretty color. And then I got this pretty Madison Mustard. I love mustard color. It's such a pretty color. But some of them, like I said, was out of stock, so they refunded me for those. I did get two originally of everything, 
but I'm happy with what I got, and it was basically, you know, it was free for me, so woohoo. <laughs> but that's my yarn haul for today. I got another yarn order coming in from Lion Brand. It was the 5 for 10 deal, and I got 15 uh, balls, so I'm excited. And it's all yarn I've not used before, so I'm super excited about it. So you'll be seeing the yarn diet button again in that video, because <laughs> this is a positive environment. We don't discriminate against people for buying yarn. <laughs> Um, some people have more than enough money to buy yarn. Some people don't. And, um, you know, you can't be mad at someone for being able to purchase something just because you can't. But uh, I've seen that a lot. That's why I'm mentioning that. It's because I've seen that a lot in posts and on videos where people kind of put people down for buying yarn. And it's like, they can buy whatever they want with their own money, you know. Don't get mad at them because you can't get it yourself. I don't know. People are just weird. But, yeah. So, this is a no yarn diet zone. And it's a no hate zone. I do delete and block people when they send hateful comments, so be nice. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to hop off here and put all this yarn somewhere. I don't know where I'm going to put it because my yarn shelf. It's, I need to put like a board right there. <laughs> i got to figure something out. Uh, that will not be fun, but I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.